Who doesn't love Christmas movies? We got Christmas classics, Frozen, The Grinch. You know, you know what? We don't need. Yeah, that's what I think of those, huh? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I won't let anyone hurt you. It's okay. You'll be okay. It's all right. It's all right. You think I'm gonna let you have that trash? That holiday trash? No, I'm gonna give you the hipster choices. I'm gonna give you the alternative movies for winter. You betcha. What up everyone? I'm gonna show you 12 movies that you can watch during the holidays that aren't Christmas movies. I love my Christmas. I'll watch, I don't know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'll watch that like a billion times, a million times. Or The Grinch, even though it's a little bit scary. The animated one's not that scary, but the, you know, the Jim Carrey one where he's all like, oh. Yeah, that was a little concerning. But there are a million movies out there, and these are some of my favorites. They kind of have a wintry theme, but they're not necessarily just Christmas or holiday movies. So if you're feeling the need to just, you know, de... de... I don't know, de... 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 Defro defrost! Hehe, <laughs> defrost from all this wintry, I guess, like, themed... Okay, these, they're kind of themed. They're good movies, that's what I'm saying. They, they evoke the mood, so here we go. I haven't put them in order yet. Ready? Okay, we got Harry Potter. Not this one specifically, but all the all of the Harry Potter, the whole franchise. They're so fun to watch in the winter time when it gets cold. The first two are very like thematic, I guess. They go through the seasons a lot. Actually, all of them, and they all kind of span through winter because it's Harry's school year. There's like Christmas in the first one for sure, at least I can remember, and the fifth one. And eh, the second one, second one too. So lots of like fun things to do there. I don't know, it's it's like magical and the school of Hogwarts and the snow. The third one also has winter. I'm just rambling on and on. But they're a long series. You can just snuggle up with those in blanket. Harry Potter, good way to go. Here's one, 2012, yep. Uh, this movie I just chose because, remember December 20 something, 21st, 2000? or something was supposed to be the end of the world and they made this movie in 2010 and it so it technically pl takes place in December it's not so much of a, like a Christmassy wintry vibe it does have like the ice of the Himalayas it's just kind of fun it's like a little bit of like a a little bit of <laughs> it's an apocalyptic like end of the world scenario like adventure and disaster movie it's just kind of a fun thing to watch you don't take it very seriously so there's another option for you Number three, okay, these, you know, I'm going with like the series. I'm gonna kind of get those out of the way first and the ones that don't make much sense. They just, these, okay, we got the Hobbits here. The Hobbits are really long. They're an adventure story. The ending is kind of, I think it's like a winter-ish vibe at the end, the third one. They're, they're, they're okay movies, like they're like, eh, mas, mas o menos, but they're, they're fun if you have nothing else to do. You got a couple, three hours, and then I guess nine hours to kill. Um, they're just like, you know, fun, fun, something to do. <laughs> Next. Okay, here we get to like the real, the real thing. So Fargo was that movie by the Coen brothers, but they made a series out of it. And this is the first season. I highly recommend it. It's really good. It's funny. It's that like dark humor. And you know, it's about someone that gets a little bit over their head and uh, ends up murdering someone. And then they just one thing after another and they just kind of get uh, out of hand, so. There's a lot of like Minnesota vibe, Minnesota culture, so I really like this series. It's snowy, it has like parkas and hoodies, and um, like frozen lakes, so all the classic things about Minnesota. So this one actually is a really good, you can even see the cover. It has like a sweater, <laughs> sweater design, so it's really good for the winter time, especially like I'd say January, February, where it just gets bleak and you hate life. This is like, oh, well that's cool, I kind of see that and I kind of can appreciate that in a less modern sense. Okay. We got Hannah or Hannah. I really like this one. It is like a action adventure and it's about this like young girl who's actually an assassin and she kind of grew up all isolated and was preparing for when the government this giant governmental force is gonna come after her and they're searching for her and her father was like a spy and it's kind of it's a little bit confusing it goes all over which is fun you get to go to like Morocco and you get to go to like the northern Scandinavia and like throughout Europe I think maybe Germany um, it's it's pretty action-packed a little bit violent but that's why it's that's why it's cool because it's like this like girl and she just just kills people not like all the time in self-defense it's always in self-defense but 
Um, this is another one. It's like really cool. It brings out that winter spirit, especially in the beginning. There's like uh, pine trees, and they live in a forest. I, the best way to describe it, it's like fairy tale, a modern fairy tale, a gruesome modern fairy tale. So there you go. It's Hannah. Okay, and we got Scooby. -Doo. Any Scooby Doo would be great to watch in the winter, but like obviously there's some themed ones. Some of them are holiday. Some of them are not. This one obviously is a little bit holiday-ish. It has. Lots of different adventures, the old ones, new ones, whatever. Scooby-Doo is always a special place in my heart. I love Scooby-Doo so much. These ones are like when you come outside and then it's freezing, you hang out there for a little bit and then you run back inside. You just sit sit and curl up by the TV. And you can watch Scooby-Doo, have a good laugh with like a warm blanket. That These ones are perfect. This is like my childhood and my, my life. I, st I still watch them. <laughs> Okay, this one's a little, it's a wild card pick, Inglorious Bastards. Uh, it's about World War II. It's, it's like a fairy tale, but in like Nazi Germany. It says Once Upon a Time in Nazi Germany. And about this special unit that goes in, they uh, need to take out some high ranking Nazi officials. And then there's a, um, a Jewish girl who's on the run. And like there's this really intense Nazi agent who's actually like really fun. He's really interesting, good character to uh, that's trying to like hunt them down and stop this plot. It's really funny. It's pretty violent too, but it is the dialogue and it's it's amazing. I don't know why I think this is a winter one, but it's kind of a spring almost if I, if you think about it. But I, I like to watch it. I watched it the other day. Um, I don't know World War Two. I feel like World War Two for me. I like start watching a lot of movies in the winter so who knows about that but definitely check this movie out if you haven't uh, you, you'll enjoy it if you can get through the blood <laughs> okay here we go we got avatar the last airbender season one which is water this is kind of obvious a lot of the beginning i get and the end has like the fire the fire nation attacking the water tribe and the water tribe are all up in the north or in the south i love <coughs> I love Avatar so much. You can even tell by the first season that it's it's in the spirit of winter, especially in the beginning. Um, it's a great time to start a series in the winter because you're cold and you're tired and you're sick, kind of like me, and you just need something to watch that's like really good. And so I love to rewatch this. I feel like the first one is like definitely a wintry spirit. The second one's like a spring, and then the third one, or yeah, the the, the second one's like a spring summer, and then the third one's like a fall. But that's just purely off the colors of the nations. But Avatar season one would be a really good thing to start in the winter, especially since it's, it's just Avatar. You can't go wrong. We got Walter Mitty. I'd say this one's definitely a January, February kind of movie. I don't know why. I don't know why some of these I think are December and some of these are more January, February. This is for all of winter though. This movie's just a fabulous time. It's just, it's not complicated. It's not deep. It's, it looks nice. It's pretty funny. And it has like a good, short, wholehearted message. And it, Ben Stiller's really good in this. Um, he goes around a lot of places. He goes to like Iceland, I think, and, and things like that. Um, he's an office worker that doesn't do anything with his life. And he's really shy. And he's kind of just, you know, gets pushed around a lot. And then he's like, okay, I'm going to be different. I'm going to start going on adventures. I'm going to start, you know, changing my life. So um, it's really just a good time. Okay, this is a really, really good movie. The Grand Budapest Hotel. It is hilarious. It is about, I don't know, this guy that he's recalling a memoir. No. So there's this guy and he's recalling the memories of the time when he worked as a lobby boy in this hotel. And it's set in this fictional country in Europe before World War II and like a glory day. It is just so, Wes Anderson, any movie of his is just so beautiful to look at, just the way he like fits all the set designs and they're very like, I don't know, symmetrical and they're very colorful and bright and you're just gonna love it. It's a really fun time. It takes place a lot during the winter. There's like little skiing slopes and like mountains and everything like that. Hold on. This one, more than all like all the others. If you just check out this one, you'll really like it. Perfect winter movie, perfect December movie. Okay, another really good one that I like is Cloud Atlas. This one, I don't know why this is a m winter movie, but it's very complex, confusing, but beautiful at the same time. It's about a bunch of people who over the course of years in the past, present, and future are all connected through many different things and the events kind of unfold 
in, I guess, stages where you don't know the whole story of one. They kind of are all one story. They're all separate, but they make up one story together. So that's like, it's something I love to watch with my friends or just watch on my own because every time there's something new, it goes all over the world and all over um, like genres, I guess, like science fiction and like Victorian and present day and like 70s, like uh, mystery, murder mysteries and things like that. So I'd really recommend this one. So there you go. And probably my all time favorite movie ever, Les Miserables. Miserables? Les Miserables. No, it's Les Miserables. I know this, I read the book, I should know this, and it's my favorite movie, but anyway, life-changing movie for me, but you just need to pop this one in and watch it and cry a little bit and get really enthusiastic about the song. Okay, that's that's just me. It's about a man who escapes from prison and has to live his life, um, you know, hiding from the law, but he wants to be a good person. I, I just, I'm making it sound so lame, but... Anyway, just just Wikipedia all of these ones. I'm not doing. I'm not trying to give a full synopsis of these movies. I'm just like, oh, here's this movie you should watch. So there you go. Those are my. I think that was 12, 12 movies that you can watch this winter if you're not feeling all those holiday those holiday vibes, which you should be. But I mean, after after Christmas, you know, kind of tapers down into depression season. So those are some of my favorites. If you have any others, you can comment them below if you want. <laughs> Maybe I'll make some others for like the spring or something or the fall. I definitely have like a list of those, but these are just some ones I found around the house. So thank you very much guys and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.